Man, so much freaking news dropped last night related to the 300 million download celebration that I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding where I want to start, but I guess DBZ Space is as good of a place as any, so without further ado guys, let's jump into it. Now as you can see, I have the release schedule pulled up and we have quite a few new cards on the way. There is this STR Booty Hercule and this AGL Perfect Cell who are the rewards for the upcoming Global vs JP campaign. The loser will get this Hercule and the winner will get this Cell. They're essentially the same card or very very similar in their mechanics but as a Global main, I really really want this Hercule. Now, this has been a trend for a couple years now where uh, the losing card for these campaigns is usually the most desirable one, man. It's the one that's more unique, the one that's more fun. And from what I can tell, okay, so for example, um, for the 250 million down celebration, there was this Frieza, and I can't find the Goku. That was, you know what? Doesn't really matter. This Frieza was the card for the losers, and I really, really wanted this Frieza, and for some reason, Global won, and that usually doesn't happen, right? When it comes to Global versus JP, JP usually wins, but for some reason we won this campaign and we ended up getting the Goku, and JP got this Frieza I really wanted. So, Global mains out there, Global players out there, yo, let's just take it easy, alright? Let's. I, I know you guys are hyped, but let's just tone it down a little bit so we can actually win, or win, but actually lose the campaign, but win the Hercule. We'll still get the same rewards at the end of the day, except we get the Hercule instead of the Cell and that would make me really, really happy. And uh, aside from that, we also have this new uh, tech, Goku and Gohan, which is coming for both Global and JP at the same time. And of course, we have the STR, Goku, or uh, Vegeta and Trunks, who uh, JP already has, but Global is getting at the same time as well. And uh, we also, of course, have this LR, Goku and Bulma, who is the new, or who are, do I say is or are? Because it's one card, but it's two characters. I'm gonna say is. So who is the new reward for the upcoming stages of Super Battle Road? And uh, according to DBZ Space, they're all being added to the game on the 26th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is basically 1 a.m. on the 27th Eastern Standard Time for me. So it's gonna be the morning of the 27th in about uh, about 12 hours from now actually, so pretty pretty soon. And without further ado guys, let's take a look at what this Hercule and this Cell actually do. So for Hercule, his name is Foolish Warm-Up Hercule, his leader skill is Androids and, Androids and Cell Saga Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 33%. Now of course, this is a brand new category guys. The Android Cell Saga category did not exist in the game before, uh, well, I mean, we, we didn't know about them at least until we saw the details for these cards. So I'm suspecting that one of the new LRs, either the LR Cell or the LR Gohan will have this leader skill, or maybe both. That would make sense though. So I, I think one of them, probably at the LR Cell maybe, will have this leader skill, or maybe not. I could be completely wrong, but it would make sense to me. But either way, brand new category. We'll take a look at it in a second. And uh, his super attack is Hercule Miracle Punch causes supreme damage to enemy. Passive, I'll spank him. Attack and defense plus 33%. Attack and defense plus 33% when attacking. And key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 33% for 3 turns after receiving an attack. So all in all, when you add up all of those uh, buffs, the additional boost from the passive, when calculated separately, which they are, is a total boost of attack and defense plus 120% or 120.78%, which is actually very impressive for a completely free-to-play card that um, everybody's gonna be, everybody's gonna be getting if as long as they everybody's gonna be getting it. Like I was gonna say, as long as they participate in the campaign, but as long as you like log in and stuff, like you are participating in the campaign, right? So you're gonna get this card or the cell, and like I said. They're very similar cards, and that's actually really impressive. Of course, they don't have Dokkan Awakenings, their stats aren't awesome, so don't expect them to do like crazy damage or be able to like run them on Super Battle Road. But uh, I'm impressed. I'm actually really impressed with that passive. Links are Infighter, World Tournament Champion, Champion Strength, Hero, Money, 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 Soul vs. Soul, and categories are World Tournament and Androids slash Sail Saga. And uh, here are the max stats, like I said, not super great. Uh, even at rainbow status, it's going to be under 10,000 attack and HP. Um, and oh, also the SR Hercule from the Friend Summon can be used to raise super attack. So that's nice. And all right, next up, next up is the LR Perfect... Uh, LR, no, no, no. 
the perfect cell, the free to play perfect cell. I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm getting too excited. The uh, AGL perfect cell, which is the reward for the winners. Leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga, category key plus three. HP, attack, and defense plus 33%, so exactly the same as Hercule. Super attack, Psychokinesis Crash, causes supreme damage, and passive is get out of my face. And pretty much the exact same passive as Hercule as well. And once again, calculated separately, 120.78% attack and defense, which is really good. And um, links, gentlemen, messenger for the future, big bad bosses, attack the clones, ultimate life form, and nightmare. And categories are androids, transformation boost, time travelers, artificial life forms, and android slash cell saga. So the, mo the only difference really between the two cards is of course one's Hercule, one cell and their links and categories are different. Aside from that, like mechanically, the passive, the super attack, and the leader skill, exactly the same, all right? And uh, let's take a quick look at this new androids slash cell saga category now that's in the game. And for some reason, it's sorted by like Rs and SRs first for some reason, but let's go down a little bit to the bottom here. And here are the more interesting cards. So we have, of course, the new Gohan and, Go and Goku. We have um, the new uh, Trunks and Vegeta somewhere in here. I can't find out oh, right there Trunks and Vegeta and aside from that we have LR Gohan We have uh, a bunch of future future Gohans LR Trunks is here as well makes a lot of sense and uh, Yeah, there's also one guy that I was missing before I'm not sure if they added him. Oh, I'm on I'm on global right now Hold on. Uh, let's actually switch over to JP for this one because there are a few units that aren't available on Global that will be here. Okay, so we have the um, LR First Form Cell. Uh, we have, uh, who else? There's that Dokkan Fest exclusive Piccolo that a lot of people were complaining about. I don't know, yeah, there we go, okay. So the Dokkan Fest exclusive Piccolo was added. He wasn't here before and people were super pissed about it. And uh, we also have uh, King Cold and Frieza. Um, oh. Of course, Krillin and 18, gotta have, oh, I mean, technically just 18, but Krillin's in there, so I, I, I call this card Krillin and 18. Um, we have the old LR androids, uh, and so on and so forth. So you guys can take a quick look. I think overall it's gonna be a pretty solid category, but nothing crazy, not too broken, um, like the Super Saiyan category was on JP with the Namek Goku as the lead. But um, it should still be really, really good. So there you go, new androids slash cell talk. Oh, but I didn't include the new LRs, right? I, I forgot, they didn't add them to the game yet. They didn't add them to the database yet, so we don't know anything about them yet, aside from what we already knew before, um, which is not much. So yeah, those two will be in the category as well, and that should add a major, or be a huge boost to the android slash cell saga category uh, too, once they come out. So there's the category, guys, not too bad. And let's talk now about the LR, Goku, and Bulma. And uh, we'll just start with this leader skill. So their leader skill is Youth Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense Plus 120%, which is actually not bad at all, man. That's actually not bad at all, considering, once again, free to play card. Super Attack is a Pull Power, or Power Pull for the 12 to 17 key, and Miraculous Romantic Adventure for the 18 plus key. The 12 key causes Colossal damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy, and the uh, 18 key has mega colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And their passive is uh, is pretty wild, like wild as in like super freaking long. All right, the glamour of adventure, attack and defense plus seven percent up to thirty five percent per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. Attack and defense plus 7% up to 35% per youth category ally on the team. Attack and defense plus 7% up to 35% per DB Saga category ally on the team. And key plus 1 per joint forces category ally on the team up to 5. So uh, yeah, basically they're one of those units that receives buffs depending on uh, their, the allies, the, the teammates they have, and uh, their links are Courage, Innocence, Prodigies, Rival Duel, Incredible Adventure, God of the Dragon Balls, Legendary Power, and their categories are Dragon Ball Seekers, Joined Forces, Youth, and DB Saga. Let me see if there's more information down here. Um, allies with two more of the required categories, including themselves, will give them a higher attack and defense boost. Oh, okay, so I, I understand. Okay, so basically, um, if you have certain allies on the team that have, like, two or three of the categories, they can, in theory, give them up to key plus one and attack and defense plus 21% for just the one ally, but in total, you still can't go beyond key plus five and attack and defense plus 105% when 
uh, this full passive is active. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see what they can do. I'm sure they can hit quite hard at their max potential, but as you can see, you probably need to build the team around them to kind of set it up for that. Um, but either way, man, I love this art. Like, this, this, this LR is beautiful. It's so freaking nice. So, just for that reason alone, I, I don't even have the best leader for them, right? I don't have the Dragon Ball Seekers leader, the uh, GT trio. I don't have the uh, Int Kid Goku. Um, so, I, obviously, I don't have Kale and Khalifa on Global right now. So, yeah, I don't have the best leaders for them. But I still want them, man. I'm still going to rainbow them as soon as I can. So... Uh, it's going to be a lot of super bad road content in the coming days. And next up is... Oh, so this is going to get a lot of you very excited. We found a new mission. I mean, we as in just like Dokkan community overall. Uh, new mission in the DBZ Space database. And as you can see, you get 10 Dragon Stones a day for a daily mission that's coming up. So it says, clear any stage three times. It starts on the 27th. Uh, let's see, it starts on the 27th and runs until the uh, 2nd of September. So basically 7 days, a full week of this mission. 10 Dragon Stones a day for a total of 70 stones over 7 days. Um, this is not even including the possibility of the launch event coming back. If you guys don't remember, that launch event was an uh, event basically where you cleared it once a day for 10 Dragon Stones. So if you include that as well, that's another 10 stones a day. I don't want to overhype it though because I'm not sure if that's coming back. But we know for a fact that this is going to be a thing. And that's awesome. That is freaking awesome, man. You factor in the login bonus. You factor in uh, some other daily missions that we have like uh, this. Actually, that's the weekend stuff right okay never mind either way there's gonna be other missions too so uh that's awesome man 10 stones a day for seven days once the celebration begins and uh next up is another thing we found in the database this is actually a mission um for a new event so we know for a fact there's a new event coming it's gonna be the tile breaking challenge and i don't have all the details for it but from what i can tell there's gonna be five different stages and I think each of the stages is going to have five different levels too. Um, and it's going to be based on your typing. So as you can see, versus AGL, versus tech, versus int, versus SDR, versus physical. And this is for the fifth one. Um, if you go down here, there's one for the fourth one as well. Same thing. Uh, there's one for the third one as well. Same thing. So I think there's five stages with five levels each or something like that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, not too sure. Not too many details have come out about it but it's gonna be a new tile breaking challenge that's set up similarly to the uh, punching bag event. And we get these uh, tile items and not really sure what they do either. So lots of stuff up in the air, uh, not too many de details regarding that, but um, hopefully we get some stones for it too. I, I think we do, uh, we do, okay, so clear the fifth tile breaking challenge for three stones. Um, some other missions for stones as well. Nothing too crazy like the punching bag event. I don't see any like 10 or 20 or 30 stone uh, missions here for that, but uh, should be fun. Should be fun. I mean, new stages are always fun. And if it's the fa if, it, if it's exactly what I said, where it's like five levels per uh, for every like difficulty or for every stage, and maybe each stage gives you a stone, that's actually gonna be a lot of stones in total. But once again, no details confirmed, so don't necessarily take that as fact, right? Uh, but yeah, new tile breaking challenge coming, and uh, let's talk quickly about this uh, free to play tech Goku and Gohan that's coming for both Global and JP on the 27th, and it's called Answers Found in Training Super Saiyan Youth, uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan Youth, and the leader skill is Goku's Family Category Key Plus 2, HP, Attack and Defense Plus 50%, Super Attack is Kamehameha, Raises Defense, and Causes Supreme Damage to the Enemy. Passive is new discoveries, attack and defense plus 50% at the start of the turn, and Goku's family category allies keep, uh, attack and defense plus 20%, so they have a bit of a support role, very nice. Active skill is exchange, swap with Super Saiyan Gohan Youth, can be activated starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. So the exchange is essentially this uh, retreat mechanic you've been hearing about, and people were calling it retreat before we knew the actual name. But uh, the official name is Exchange. So there we go. There's their Exchange skill. And I'll show you what that does in a second. Links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, or Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Goku's Family, Super Saiyan, and Android slash Cell Saga. And once you do the Exchange, they become a Super Saiyan Gohan Youth. And their Super Attack becomes Wild Rush Blaster. Raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is a new signpost. 
attack and defense plus 60%, additional attack and defense plus 50% when facing an Android Cell Saga category enemy. And uh, one thing that changes is Saiyan Lineage, and everything else stays the same. And they're also getting Extreme Z Awakening. We don't know exactly what that uh, does as far as the uh, super attack or passive goes, but their leader skill then becomes Goku's Family Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So this once again is coming for both Global and JP once the celebration begins, and uh, it's going to be a completely free to play card, you can farm them out. And can't wait for that. They look pretty, pretty solid. Pretty solid. And next up is the Trunks and Vegeta that JP already has. But for my global players, let me just do a quick rundown for you. Uh, leader skill, Vegeta's family, category key plus 2. HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack is uh, final burst cannon. Raises attack and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack, and defense plus 70%. At start of turn, weakens regeneration. An active skill is, is exchange once again, swap with super trunks can be activated starting from the third battle, third turn from the start of the battle. And their links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Golden Warrior, the Saiyan Lineage, uh, Soul vs. Soul, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Full Power, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyan, and Androids slash Cell Saga. And their Extremes the Awakening will be very similar to uh, the Goku and Gohans, we don't know a lot of details yet, but Leader Skill becomes Vegeta's Family Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 77%, or STR Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 50%. And once you do the exchange here and becomes Super Trunks, uh, the Super Trunks becomes Vegeta's Family, no, no, that stays the same, uh, Super Attack, Buster Cannon, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is Enhanced Physique, Attack and Defense Plus 120% at the start of the turn. Uh, attack and defense minus 10% with each turn passed up to 80% so he gets weaker and weaker every single turn um, He'll start out at like full power and then every turn you know take a little bit of a debuff for attack and defense and weakens regeneration and The links stay the same categories stay the same uh, That is your Yeah, that is those are your uh, exchange cards or your retreat cards or whatever you want to call it uh, for uh, both global and JP and next up is a new God Dragonstone, or more specifically, more popularly known as Red Dragonstone. So you have the God Dragonstone 7 or Red Dragonstone 7 that's coming with the celebration, and especially for global players, um, I'm just really hoping that Int Janemba returns because I, people have been saying, you know, like don't don't spend your stones, don't spend your uh, coins on Int Janemba because there's a chance that he might be added to the premium or the Red Dragonstone pool once uh, the celebration starts, and we are getting the Red Dragonstone as predicted, but we still don't know whether or not the uh, the Janemba is going to be added, so I really hope it does happen. Also a new purple Dragonstone here, not as exciting to me, honestly, um, who will be a bit, which, who will be, uh, which will be available with the purchase of probably like a 100 stone pack, something like that. And if you guys are still missing uh, 120 leads, then I guess go for it. If not, though, I would probably stay away from that pack. I don't think it's a great deal uh, if you don't if you like don't really need those 120 leads, you know. So uh, those are the two red dragons or two different color dragon stones. Still no category lead stone, unfortunately, from what I can tell. Like a I don't know, black dragon stone or a white dragon stone or a uh, blue. Oh, we have a blue dragon stone. But you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Like just a different dragon stone for the category leads. That would have been amazing, but. Uh, still hasn't happened yet, so hopefully maybe 250 million or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for... Oh, that was the anime I was watching. Okay, cool. So that's all the news that I have um, for you guys today. That's, I believe, everything that came out yesterday uh, through the data download and everything else. Um, oh, the super tax for the LR, Goku, and Bulma, as well as the... Uh, Retreat or exchange Goku and Gohan did come out. I'm not going to show them in today's video just because this video is going extra long, but I'm sure you guys can find that out there if you really wanted to. And that's pretty much just a recap. We got the Dragonstones, we got the uh, Trunks and Vegeta coming to global, we got the Gohan and Goku coming to global, we have the new tile breaking challenge coming, we have the 10 Dragonstones a day for a daily mission, LR Goku and Bulma with the new Super Battle Road stages, a new category. 
the uh, the uh, cell new cell as well as the new Hercule that are coming as part of the Goku versus Global campaign. And did I say Global versus Global? Global versus JP. Forgot what I said. Anyways. Um, and that's pretty much it guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, hope you guys found it interesting or informative in some way, and as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, which of these things I just covered are you the most excited for? I think Hercule is going to be a popular answer, but <laughs> I'm also pretty damn excited for the new Super Bad Road stages for the LR Goku and Bulma. They look amazing. And uh, that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>